What is up, my dudes? Another episode of Piping Hot Frags with the Finley. <laughs> Let's get into this. This morning we got a lot to talk about. Not really. Might be another short show. I don't know. I rounded up a lot. See how long it lasts. No clue. I try to go for a half an hour, but sometimes shorter, sometimes longer. Like, you know, I had a couple of hour and a half long episodes just because we were going at it. So, anyways, getting into this, we've got some stuff on Intel. We got some cool little announcements, but it might be uh, disheartening to some people. I don't know. See what you think. Uh, in video with a few more announcements. Uh, pub, uh, kind of a sad announcement. Not really. I don't. I don't know how to take it. Some people might take it good. Some people might take it bad. I personally kind of like the announcement. I think it's a. I think it's a good announcement. I think what they're uh, what they're doing is probably a uh, a smart move and on their uh, on their part to ensure what they're going to do. So, we'll get into that. We'll talk about that. Uh, XCOM. Uh, or XCOM 2. We got something funny about that. So, you're going to enjoy that. A um, little bit on Call of Duty's World War 2. Destiny 2. More info on that. And then a spotlight on uh, something by THQ. Get into this. So, Intel has announced Ice Lake. I know, I know, I know, I know. Everybody's like, what? No, 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 it's not Ice Lake. We got Coffee Lake coming out. Like, and we got iced coffee. Ah, ah. <laughs> bum, bum. I should get a soundboard. That shit. Um, essentially, uh, they've just unveiled or revealed that they're going to have their next code name is going to be uh, Coffee Lake not too long ago. And then... Um, so that one's due out here real quick. But moving forward from that is going to be the Ice Lake family, which is a successor to the 8th gen, which would make that the 9th gen of processors. And it's supposed to be bolstering a uh, 10 nanometer technology, or plus. Uh, which is kind of confusing, because Cannon Lake is supposed to follow... Uh, the Coffee Lake in some sort of 2018. So, Cannon Lake should be the ninth gen versus this Ice Lake after Coffee Lakes. So, I mean, this is where it's getting confusing. Um, you know, of course, Intel has abandoned their TikTok release cadence. Now they're going more with their. Um, it's like a tick tock and then another talk again and then maybe a tick or something. <laughs> yeah. Um so right now we have uh Gabby Lake and Coffee Lake, which now they're gonna go back over to Cannon and over to Co it, it's confusing and convoluted right now. Um so yeah. I mean, take it for what it's worth. As of right now, August 21st is Coffee Lake's uh, reveal. Um, 14 nanometers still, optimization. 2018 is supposed to be the launch of Cannon Lake, which is supposed to be 10, mil 10 nanometer processes. And then Ice Lake is to be determined on the launch. No real official date on it. Um, but it's supposed to also be a 10 nanometer so and a new architecture though that's that's the thing so maybe this is more of like a side grade uh there's not much information on it other than intel's got something else coming out which is you know this is this is crazy because uh i don't know if this is spurred by ryzen um or what or maybe um coffee lake was spurred by ryzen and then fucking Ice Lake is what exactly what was actually going to come out anyways. You know, I don't know. Um, so this is a lot of fucking chips to be dropping. Like boom, 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 boom. It's like, well, what, what, what do, what do you go with? Quit, quit releasing shit so I can figure it out. Well, um, I don't know how this is going to affect the gaming industry. I really don't. Um, a lot of people not seeing. Uh, Coffee Lake as a viable gaming CPU. You know, like I said, full fucking specs not released on it yet. So, still kind of one of these questionable things. Is it going to have a low end or not for gaming? 
Um, Cannon Lake, of course, coming out. You know, going to that 10 nanometer, which is a boost. You know, that's uh, <laughs> four less than the current set, so that's kind of a cool thing. Um, now we got Iced coming out, and it's like you're sporting a 10 too. So is this a predecessor, but being released before, after, or during? uh cannon lake i mean so iced coffee cannon they're all coming out <laughs> so i don't know keep your ears peeled for that who knows what's going to happen with that um nvidia they're ramping up their 12 nanometer uh, production for volta basically um so <sighs> volta has already been fucking shoved into 2018 guy came out made the fucking official statement fucking uh hey you're not getting it you don't need it right now anyways um and that's what they did again they basically made another statement saying hey um we recommend you get a pascal card fucking awesome you know for right now <laughs> other than that we don't really know what to tell you because there's no sense in releasing anything as of this moment because uh, even the best thing that fucking Radeon's got to throw at us, it ain't even really touching us, so we're not really worried at this point in time. Um, and that's their latest release, so, you know, we're sitting on, you know, we've been released for a while now, we're not gonna release something else. So, um, that, that, that's how it's looking. They're like, yeah, if you want to play Call of Duty 2 or Destiny 2, you know, whatever. Um, they're Call of Duty World War 2, um, for Destiny 2, you know, Hey, make sure you get a Pascal card for right now. Uh, maybe they're trying to weed some more cells out of their Pascal models. I don't know. Um, but they're stockpiling stuff for the Volta is what it, it looks like to be. So they are gearing up for that. Uh, they did they did make some comments saying that, hey, yeah, Volta did come close and did kind of scare us a bit. <laughs> I shouldn't say scared, but it definitely made them look twice and... Uh, see where they were sitting in the industry and um I, you know i think everybody right now that if if you can get by keep running like a nine nine hundred series you know i that you know if you're on a 900 series chip just just hold tight you know wait till 2018 wait till the fucking volta drops uh you know that yeah i think everybody's gonna be way more happier than spending 300 dollars now or 400 dollars now on a on a 1070 or 1080 or even a 1060. I mean, if you wanted to go for a 1050 right now and just kind of sit by because you're running on really old shit, I could see that. But that's hide here nor there. Um, moving into pub, uh, player on battlegrounds. I don't know how to take this one. Uh, there's a lot of times when developers make a move, or to start out with, there's a lot of times where uh developers are very ambitious from the start and that was this that was this uh developer they um they were very ambitious they made a lot of uh a lot of big bold uh, comments from the start which which is great they came out they're saying hey we're gonna do this we're gonna do that we're gonna do this you know we're gonna try uh was the big thing we're gonna try to do this you know um they, they made a lot of promises more than they try they said we're gonna try um and they came to the realization that you know some of these promises they made is not going to come it, it's just not going to be there um not for the quality that they want so they announced that due to the high quality of standards they're wanting for their game and their product that they'll no longer be um adhering to the weekly release of updates or patches um to fix things they feel that uh, there's an hindrance in value of the release of patches having to uh, stick to the weekly type routine of it. Um, and that's the thing is, uh, wh what do you want? What do you want to see? Do you want to see a patch every week or do you want to see a patch every week and three days plus or whatever and have finished content and not another quick patch added on the end because it fucks something up? And so that that's where they're at right now is they're like, realistically the expectations that they set for their audience in the start was able to be kept up with but now it's becoming a problem where they're rolling out patches 
and there's some features that aren't quite polished enough to be in those patches and they're there and they're causing problems and so at this point in time they're going to move off of that weekly schedule and move forward into more of a realistic schedule of we're going to aim for a week but it might get pushed a couple days here or there it might be sooner might be later who knows but they're going away from the weekly model and um you know that's 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 not that that's not that big of a deal to me i, I i'm okay with that i be i feel that if they want to move away from a model that is hindering them as a development company in turning out a good product for everybody, I'm all for it. Whatever makes the game better for us as a community, you know, hey. Um, they did try to reassure, though, that they're still on track for the, uh, for the release target date. Um, that's kind of one of the things where they're like yeah we're pretty sure we're still on track for our targeted release date so <clears throat> realistically uh there's that i mean there's no way to actually know if they're going to stay on track or not i mean it's it's possible but you don't we don't know at this point i'm sorry i gotta type this in I, I never checked the revised release date. So we'll see if we have an actual fucking date knocked down for them yet. Um and that's one of the that's one of the things that <clears throat> be nice to know is if they've actually officially you know, other than a fourth quarter you know, release date basically. And I don't know. Um Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see an actual release date mentioned here, which is kind of shitty. The dev vlog. Um. Yeah, they, they, they don't say their actual release date that they're aiming for that fourth quarter. So who knows? As of this point, um. Yeah, it's it's just a follow. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, they're still just saying fourth quarter, the end of 2017, um, with the Xbox version at, and the PlayStation being at a later date. Um, yeah, so that's that's what it is right now. It's still just basically a fourth quarter launch, which is basically now, anytime, essentially going fourth quarter. So something to look forward to is that. Um. So when I was talking about XCOM 2 uh, War of the Chosen, they have a really cool thing now out on the Steam, on the Sturm. So <coughs> they have a photo booth uh, for free on Steam, which uh, it's a propaganda center. center. So if you uh, go there, you can download this deal and basically make posters for the campaign. Um, just kind of a cool novelty thing, you know, you and your friends, or if you're really into XCOM too, there you go. Um, not really my thing, but, you know, hey, I know there's some guys out there that are really into fucking, uh, XCOM, you know, so. More power to them. Uh, Call of Duty, uh, World War II. Uh, it's officially beta season now, I mean, so we're rolling out with, uh, Call of Duty World War II coming up with the private fucking betas and whatnot, and. We have um, Destiny 2 with their betas, which, you know what, that pre-ordering to beta test is kind of bullshit. It's the one biggest thing that I like about Ubisoft, is that almost anybody can get into Ubisoft betas, and once you're in, like, you've done betas for them, usually you get right back into another beta for them. I know I did two betas back-to-back -back for them. I did Ghost Recon and fucking, uh, is that, uh, the For Honor? back to back and it was one of those cool things it was like wow we got to play the game check it out see what it's like and if it's worth purchasing you know it was like almost like playing a demo um which was nice and plus we got to fix see errors and fix them before the game even launched which i was like wow this is this is how it's supposed to be <laughs> For some reason we've moved away from that in the gaming industry and i don't know why um so yeah uh with that uh, let's show you a little trailer for the Call of Duty World War 2s. Fucking what they got going on.
screw this shit up. Once again, pre-ordering fucking gets you into the beta. I don't really like it. There's nothing we can really do about it right now. But where the industry's at right now for gaming, uh, if you pre-order, we'll give you access to the beta, which I think is kind of Ched Monkey-ish, but what are you going to do? What the fuck are you going to do? Fuck it, you know? Um, following that... We have Destiny 2, which Destiny 2, they've released uh, some 4K footage of a uh, PC gameplay, and um, they've also released uh, the PC trailer for, uh, you know, multiplayer or whatever the fuck. So, there's that, and um, I figured I'd show you. I'd show you the fucking two little shits they got out going on, because, well, it's Destiny, and it's one of the hot ticket items right now. Here we go. Enjoy. Show them what Guardians are made of! You're not brave. Exclusively at Blizzard Battle.net and get early beta access. Yay. I just realized that I did not scale that properly. It's so cut off. <laughs> and so next we have the, uh, the cool little fucking deal of the actual in-game gameplay footage for PC. This was shot on a 1080 Ti. At 4K resolution. Um, I don't know if it's actually going to, you know, what it's going to look like over the stream. Obviously, I can't stream 4K because, well, Twitch, for one, doesn't allow uh, non-partners to stream that high quality, I believe. Unless they've changed that. The other thing is that I'm going to show you. If you're interested, you can go look it up. It's all over fucking YouTube now. But, yeah, here we go. And so there's that. <laughs> generator should be at the bottom of the ship. Um. 
I will say that, you know, if I wasn't, if I didn't know that that was Destiny 2, um, going into watching that preview, I probably would have thought it was just Halo. Um, I know that it's from the same studio, so you're going to have a lot of likenesses. Um, I'm probably going to get flamed for this by a bunch of Halo fanboys or Destiny fanboys. One, both of them, maybe. Who cares? <laughs> But I really feel that. I don't know, it looks like another Halo. <laughs> um, it was very Halo esque, should I say? Um, I don't know, but it it definitely did look nice. I'll give you that. I mean, I, I'm I'm very impressed with them. They I think they're coming along. So there you go. Uh, moving all along in the show, this will wrap it up for us after this. We have THQ Nordic announces Black Mirror. Um, so uh, this uh, gothic horror reboot about the madness and psychological distress um, is due out somewhere around in fucking November twenty eighth ish. You know, I say ish, as who knows. Um, it's got no relation to the TV series. But it's kind of a crazy looking game. I I don't know, man. Fucking check it out. Uh, here's the little fucking trailer they spit out just for you guys. And um, enjoy. So, yeah. Okay, <laughs> Twenty eight eleven, two thousand seventeen. There you go. Um, definitely kind of a cool trailer. Uh, doesn't really tell you much about gameplay. Uh, I have a feeling it's going to be one of those kind of story linear gameplays. Which, hey, if you're into story and linear gameplay, go for it. Um, I myself is more of an open game player, like more of a sandbox feel, kind of do what you want to do, kind of play. Don't really like being forced down a path. But. There's that. I mean, it's it looks cool. I mean, they definitely spent some time on that little video they made there. 
So I'll give him props for that. Uh, there you go. I mean, that's 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 it. That's that's the show for today. I didn't have that much that I found that was that interesting that I wanted to inform you guys about. I found a couple game trailers that I thought were really cool, and I found um, I found that, and I thought that was just kind of a cool video. I got Hulk Hogan on my shirt, so you know, it'd be awesome. <laughs> um, so as always, I'll uh, try to end the show with a uh, word of advice. Um, it's a great one. Right? Nelson on The Simpsons, he once said this, and uh, it was, um, I'm not sure if most people are going to get this, but if you tie a string around your finger, it'll turn purple. Stay frosty, my dudes, and, uh, you know, keep, tr keep on trucking. There you go.